Yo guys, today is going to be the world's quickest video, just a little update on what's been happening here with the Mini. So I've uh, just been smashing out the world's worst welding you've ever seen, I haven't cleaned any of it up because you know, you get to see it that way. But let's have a look what we've what we've done. We've done a bit of repair down here which you remember from the last time around. I have started incorporating the sill in there, you can see it's starting to weld in. To cut little bits out, so all this is obviously totally clean and cleaning back and all that kind of stuff. The sill has been spot welded, so not underneath yet. That needs cleaning up there, etc. etc. So my way of doing the spot welds, because I haven't got a spot weld machine, is to drill holes and then spot weld through them or plug weld. But I don't think I've done the holes big enough, so I'm gonna do a whole bunch more, even if I drill through them both and then just plug weld them both. Who knows? We're, we're gonna try something like that. So in here I've done the world's worst body welding, as you can see. I've not finished it quite up to the end of there yet. This doorstep looks horrendous, but who cares? Because again, you're not going to see most of it be covered in carpet and trim. Blah de blah de blah. Again, done the same in here. There's my body repair from the last time around. Uh, actually, looks kind of good. It's very strong. Uh, what else have we done? The back's pretty much the same as it was. Haven't really changed anything. These garages are complete and out of wreck. Look at it. Just from Russian. Still need to meeten up my uh, corner pieces and push this piece out a bit. But otherwise it's quite good. The boot fits fairly well. Quite happy with that. Again, not finished, but you know, just doing bits bits here and there and everywhere. Still need to finish this here, so I'm gonna have to cut that piece on the inside out and then uh, drill my hole for the subframe mount and weld a nut on the back. And then maybe weld in some kind of strengthening bracket because that's normally what was there before. And obviously clean up all inside. Rust treat the hell out of it. I put rust spray on it, which is apparently a treatment, but it's just more like an oil. I'm gonna get rust converter and just like literally blast everything that's left in it. Bosch welded it on here. Bosch welded all the floor in on this side. So I've got a gap to fill here. So realistically, I need to buy a whole new rear floor piece. But for now, I'm just gonna Bosch weld something in there, you know, just to get, make it somewhat of a solid project. And then, uh, once we get further down the line with, you know, it's probably gonna be months and months away. Once I get some hopeful recovery from surgery, we'll, uh, I'll cut a piece of floor and weld it in, if I can, if I can. So one of my issues is I'm getting this thing called sacral nerve modulation done and they fit like a little, almost like a pacemaker into your skin, in your back. And apparently you might not be able to weld. So I'm gonna be in a world of trouble if I can't, hence rushing this because that surgery is not long away, so we'll see how we go. So I'm gonna get my uh, bladder stone removed first if they have a problem too. But once that's done, sacral nerve modulation, and then uh, hopefully in the future we can finish all this off. So yeah, so yeah, anyway, I've not finished inside here, I need to put a little plate for now. Again, probably need floors for both sides, that is the proper repair. But just because I wanna make a solid rolling mini for now, this is what we've done. Again, same here, I have to billy bodge this because it wasn't big enough if you remember. And then the inside of a door thing. Once that's grind back, that actually looked really good. It just doesn't look right now. Again, in most YouTubers would show you it all cleaned up, but still, that's all that in there. And it's rock solid. It moves the whole car when I grab it, so it's got to be a good thing, right? And then this needs spot welding on, like the other side did. And then the same with the sill. And these welding underneath. So, first, before I do that, I've got to cut out the rest of the rot inside there. And then clean it all up. Same with this piece here. And then obviously build it back up and then uh, put a um, jacket point on this side because it's missing and then pour some rust treatment inside there because look at that you can see the floor is starting to rust on the inside out not much i can do about it unless i change the entire floor which again is going to be planned in the future done my repair patch on here again a couple of welds i still need to do on the top corners and stuff and clean it all up and bash it in with a hammer but yeah still solid and then this has been pretty boshed on as well so Again, the right way of doing it will be by a whole new scuttle panel, which is future plans. Again, I want a solid project for now, so I'm going to make a little piece of that top bit there that's missing. And then uh, hopefully, when I grind it all back, body fill it or uh, whatever else, I can smooth it all in and get the windscreen back in. As you normally spot welded together, but yeah, that's how this looks for now. And then we bosh the front end on. I don't think I'm going to get all of this completed 
at least you know the bodge mini completed so uh, don't worry there will be future videos where everything's going to be done properly but for now it is somewhat more solid than it was it might be bodging but that's what someone else has done before to get it through MOTs that's what a lot of minis are like on the road but you just get to see someone doing it in first hand where no one would ever admit it but that's what you're here for so yeah uh, next job will be to finish the floor here so I'm going to have to weld some strips in probably obviously over large them a little bit on either side to get some strength back in it same with there and then uh, get the outsole back on, etc, etc. Then I can put a seat in it and at least sit in it again, pretend to steer it whilst I'm recovering. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, there's your very quick update. Um, I'll update you once I know a bit more, surgery-wise, and then go from there. Yeah, if you remember to uh, like and subscribe, maybe when I come back to this eventually. I mean, it might be a few more videos yet. I've got to check on my footage. But, uh, Maybe I'll come back to like a thousand subscribers, that'd be great, right? Yeah! <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Professional Bodger out. <laughs>